Thank you for joining us to discuss the voice of things. Technology has evolved quite a bit. PC was a toy for some. It changed from mainframes, mini computers, personal computer era. And today we have smartphones that are making new sense and be able to locate and giving you the apps that can be able to run things much better. These are examples of technologies uh, enabling because of connectivity, because of uh, processors, because of the cameras, and the others that are together, you can be able to make better sense and better experience out of this. But there are major challenges that we, that we do have to overcome. Shifting demographics, urbanization, already almost half of people are urbanized, and the shift will only continue. Climate change, I don't have to tell you. I think we are really happy when we get rain in San Francisco. These are all mega challenges. The technical challenges that we are trying to solve at Samsung, we're very committed to IoT. There are multiple issues that we have to come. It's not just connecting. Connection is really critical, but we have to make sure things are small because not all application requires one size. There are multiple needs, multiple power requirements, as well as interoperability. When you have a multiple devices, they don't talk to each other, you're living in the day of silo. We need to make sure these things are come together and being able to fuse and get a sense out of multiple data source. So we need to figure out making a tool that accelerate development. We are going to do this together to solve and accelerate the IoT innovation. First, we're going to announce is our Samsung Arctic, which is a powerful building blocks in the form of a highly integrated hardware and software modules. The Arctic platform is the most advanced family of hardware and software for IoT. So when you think about Samsung, you usually think about hardware only. This is really a solution. It's a system. We call it SAM, System on Module. It's a slightly fatter version of Ladybug. It has the power to control sensors, hubs. That's what we call Arctic One. So the higher end is Arctic 10. We want to leverage the same technology that we have given you in our phones to IoT market. Hardware embed security is something we believe is extremely important. Having its own unique ID certificate that are also part of a common certification process so that is compatible with a security ecosystem. So this is a um, Arctic platform that you will see that our developers will get today. It's important that you have the right tools, environment, and software that can accelerate the uh, development of our IoT products. So I think that Arctic provides, it would have shaved our time to market. It's going to make it much more efficient for uh, innovators to come up with new ideas and bring them all the way from concept to reality. One of the things we're excited to be working on together and we're announcing today is uh, the SmartThings Open Cloud. It really brings together the best technology. It's powered by SAMI and brings together the best of that with what was in the SmartThings Cloud and it, it really should make it easier, faster for device makers, for developers, for service providers to come up with all sorts of applications uh, for these things. We ship about 600, over 660 million products uh, every year as a Samsung Electronics. And we have the largest uh, TV business and we have the second largest home appliances business in the world. Earlier this year, our president and CEO, BK Yoon, for the CE division made a commitment that in five years, most of our products will be uh, connected. Mm -hmm. And we have a vision of connecting uh, all of our products by 2020. Mm -hmm. Our point of view is if it's not connected, it's not really relevant to your lifestyle. Security and privacy is not uh, a matter of sizes. It applies to all the products. Mm -hmm. Since we made that type of commitment, we need to ramp up our development effort very fast. Right. I think Arctic, together with uh, SmartThings Open Cloud, will be essential and critical for us to get there. The announcement of Arctic, it means a lot of things because it's a very small gateway and it's going to provide a lot of developers with a lot of flexibility to build some really innovative applications. It has some very high computing power. I mean, their smallest device is like the size of a fingernail and it has like the computing power of a Raspberry Pi. Arctic comes at a very critical time in our development cycle. We spent 18 months to get to the point where we had our prototype. Today we're showing the uh, 
New Boogie Generation 5 leveraging Arctic One. So the benefit of what we are doing is really having you not to spend time on putting together chips, memories, power management, sensors, yeah. all that stuff into one because it's done. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I can see using that device to monitor environmental conditions, which I see lots of companies already doing. Technology can help the droughts that we are having in California. As you know, we are consuming 38 billion of gallons of water per day, and half of that water is wasted through leakage and other issues. What if, if we can use technology to address and manage and sense our water issues. So that's the challenge that I want to have our developer to think about and help us to contribute. So that is really something we can do from our side using our IoT solution to enable a, and focus in a critical areas that we believe is important. I found it very interesting. I think it's definitely something that could be a game changer. What's really great to see is how Samsung is really looking at this as a really open platform to bring in as many great companies, great developers uh, into it to really build great devices. It's amazing. It really feels like the future is today. I think what's important is are smart machines that are going to make our lives better. I'm really excited about being able to work and experience that.